Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man. I heard Triple G is trying to avoid fighting Jaime Munguia. Let's talk about it for a minute. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Check out the Boxing Rumor playlist and the Middleweight playlist as well. But, um, yeah, they heard my source told me that um, it's a rumor. The Triple G is trying to make it hard to fight Jaime. And my whole thing is, you know, this dude trying to avoid Jaime Munguia. We ain't talking about a finished product. We talking about a kid that's still growing. So I don't really know, you know, why he don't want to fight Jaime. I know it got something to do with his game. Is it the speed? Is it the youth? Is it the aggressiveness? You would think that, you know, he would want to fight Jaime and it would be a knockout for him. Most people think it would be an easy fight. But, you know, when you're coming off the fight with Sergey Derrick and even with Steve Rowe, Steve Rowe, Steve Rowe was giving him some, was hurting him, you know, and Durbin Derrinchenko was, was put, was really her beating, putting, beating, putting the beating on him. And what people don't know is he didn't want to fight, he didn't want to fight Sergey Derrinchenko. The zone forced him to fight Derrinchenko, and you you see why he don't want to fight him. And the zone been putting him in easy fights, or continue to put him in easy fights because they know it's a wrap. And he, you know, he's thirty seven years old. You know, I like his trainer Jonathan Banks, but I heard that he lazy. I heard that he a really, really lazy fighter that, you know, you know, that he just don't really. And remember, he got kicked out of Victor Conti's snack. He lazy. Like, this is not only had to tell the inside information. You know, when you get kicked out of snack, I mean, have you heard Julian Williams, Mikey Garcia, Caleb Plant, anybody that's been in that facility or represent that? Have you heard about them quitting? Have you heard about Larry Wade saying Sean Porter lazy? You know what I'm saying? No. No, you haven't. And to me, that, that's crazy that this dude, you know, that people was praising, you know, throwing rose petals at his feet like he royalty was saying that, you know, he the best fighter. He the best fighter that I ever seen. He the best fighter that I ever seen. You know, he's a great fighter. He's not a great fighter. It was a lot of a lot of brothers and others that was praising Triple G saying that he a great fighter. You know, when he come over here, he going to die. And all he did was fight Proskas and Rosados and Ashidas and you know, whoever else type of caliber fights he fought. He wasn't trying to come over here when Martinez was dominating the division and couldn't find nobody. You know, he wasn't trying to come over here and, and fight Julio Cesar Chavez. He was over there. Well, he had promotional problems. Okay, if you want to say he's stuck in Germany and fighting him, why he didn't fight Arthur Abraham? Arthur Abraham was, was, a, was a middleweight. And he was a super middleweight at one point. He was, he was I don't want to say, he dominated his opposition. So, you know. He was trying to chase Felix Stern, but why, why you didn't chase, you know, my whole thing is why you didn't chase motherfucking Arthur Abraham. He wasn't trying to fight nobody, man. He wasn't trying to fight Ward, pump fade on Carl Frosch, but this is this is a tire, entirely different level. I'm on a new level. You know, he on a new level. You don't want to fight Jaime? You trying to ask for a lot to fight Jaime? Well, yeah, man, please. I think most of the Triple G apologists didn't open their eyes. I think most of them would say, you know what, we got to we got to be real, CJ Wright. We got to be real, CJ Wright, man. Everybody else, where I told people, I seen a fight process. I'm like, okay, let me see some more. I seen a fight a Rosado, Adama. Um, I seen him fight a couple guys, and I'm looking like I'm not impressed. Where the hype? He can punch, but he was real Mister Robot though. He was doing the robot. He ain't real robotic. Well, he beat Triple G the first fight. I didn't think so, but, I mean, you know, to me, he was supposed to go out there and get a knockout versus Canelo. He was scared to go past the fence. He he didn't really go. He was Canelo kept him at bay. I don't know if it was counter punching, punching power, but people that believe in their chin is reckless like Jake LaMotta. You know, they reckless. Like, like they can be, they, if they got to get reckless, they believe in their chin. They, they, you know, they don't think they can be knocked out. But anybody can be knocked out in this boxing business. But my whole thing is, Jaime, though? Jaime trying to get that fight and he ducking it. I don't want to know what he fight Chris Eubanks then. You know, that the zone can't even get this clown to fight Jaime? Jaime? To me, that's a joke, man. And I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, honestly, man. But just as far as the fight, I think the fight will be a very good fight. I think uh, I think I thought Triple G would win. You know, I got more faith in Triple G, and that's saying something because I don't like Triple G. I got more faith in Triple G than I got in um 
Then I got in Jaime, but that's saying something because coming into this fight, but apparently Jaime pushing for the fight, and Triple G don't want the fight. But I mean, that is what it is. Trying to see how much. All right, that is what it is, man. I just I really thought I, I really thought that 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 fight would get done. You know, remember, you know Triple G, yeah, Jaime, they switched from Triple G to fight Jaime on Cinco de Mayo a couple years ago. He fought Minus Rose, Minus Rose, Minus Rose, Minus, Vinus Monterosian and whatever commission, I think it was LA, when California Commission didn't approve the Jaime fight, said he wasn't a, a respectable opponent. And you gotta ask yourself, did Triple G get the commission? Did they get the commission to to, to say that he wasn't a formidable opponent? They gotta ask yourself, did Triple G did Triple G tell the commission? Did this K2 tell the, the commission that they didn't want to fight Jaime, so they didn't do that? This this looked real suspect. And some people believe this Mark a Hall of Famer. Off based off what? Look, think about it. Think about Triple G for a minute, right? His WBA belt was an interim belt, I think, the regular belt. So he never earned a WBA belt. Never. It was given to him. The WBC belt versus Mark Marco Antonio Marco Antonio Rubio, I think it is. That was for a vacant belt they stripped from Canelo. So we're talking about a guy for one, never moved up a competition for two. When he moved up to the big fights, the, the knockout started coming. He really lost to Danny Jacobs. All right. Three, never won a real title. How, how are you a Hall of Famer and you don't you never won a real title? All your titles was upgraded from fighting nobodies. You know, lost to big fights or had to draw in the big fights. Lost to Danny Jacobs. And I think had Chocolito beat Rivenstein, they would have let Danny Jacobs beat Triple G. I do believe that. I do believe that. But they weren't going to have Triple G and Jaime lose. I mean, Triple G and Chocolito lose on the same night. That wasn't going to happen. But just boxing in general is just... Like, they are joking. Then you got guys like Dan Rayfield and other writers. Oh, Triple G is a great fighter. And where, what has he done great? Carl Frost called him out. Didn't fight him. Andre Ward called him. You know, uh, Andre Ward, he did, you know... Big drama, so I fight anybody, but you know, not Andre Ward right now. I mean, come on, who did he fight? Who, when he, Ch Chavez was in his prime, where was he at? When Martinez was in his prime, where was he at? You know, all them dudes down there, Arthur Abraham, Jermaine Taylor, Carl Frotch, on that middleweight, super middleweight, Andre Ward, George Groves. Ain't fight nobody. And Boo Hagler stayed at one. Hagler had 40 some fights before he got a title. 40 some fights before he got a title, different era. And at the time, the 68 pound division for him was a European division. So, you know, he won his title over there in Europe, but he wasn't about to go back over there and, 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 and just fight in Europe exclusively. That wasn't going to happen. As many times he got robbed, he got finessed out the first title shot. He had came back and beat the, had to knock the guy out. That's what be killing me. People, people don't, you know, excuse me, that's what you're telling me. Boy, but people don't understand people don't understand legacy I mean look, understand people's legacy that's a very that's the, it was a very hard era that he fought in very hard era that he fought you can't pair him to Triple G but this dude Doug and, Doug and Jaime is a fucking joke and Jaime pushing for that fight and I think Jaime back up playing some guy I never heard of and Triple G gonna fight some guy I never heard of what's Triple G waiting for, for a Canelo Trilogy he got to move up. You know, and I remember Abel Sanchez was on Fight, Hi Fight Hub, excuse me. He said that, um, he said that, um, basically that he was match made good. That that's the reason that, um, that's the reason that, you know, he was in a position. He said K2 did a great, you know, job basically put him in there and match make him in there and building him up. To me, his, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed at all. At all. You know, but you know, some people are impressed. But the Doug Jaime is just to me, especially the way he's been looking after the Saddam Ali fight. To me, it's just hilarious. You know, and then he don't want to fight Demetrius Andrade, Doug Andrade. Now he want to fight Jaime, and his own gonna let him keep fighting, got fighting bums. His own gonna keep letting him fight them bums, and I mean they won't let him do it. So be it. You know, I forget who he fought last time. Uh, I think I don't know who we fought. Who we fought some guy. Uh, Kim Mills or Matt. I didn't watch that fight. I I don't love boxing 
to the to that max to watch that bullshit, man. I don't. But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, call, response, your video request. All the social media links, description, fast way to reach me is Twitter, then Facebook, then Instagram. Facebook group link there as well, too. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good 313. That's the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share, share the video. Let me know what you think. Comment section, we got.